everyone, welcome to Sweet Peace Sids Inspirations. My name is Sydney and today we are going to learn how to do the taffy pull knit to edge stitch. And today's stitch, as you may be able to see, we are going to be working with some cables. So a cable needle is going to really come in handy for the stitch. And I just want to kind of go over the basic structure of the stitch. Um, again, like I stated, this is meant for an edging. The cast on is a multiple of 10. You can do just 10, you can do 20, you can do how many ever multiples of 10 that you would like to do. But if you are using this as a trim work, then how many ever cast ons you cast on is going to determine on how thick or how wide your trim is going to be. So kind of keep that in mind. The stitch again is an edging, so it's meant to, um, pull up or pick up these stitches at the end of your cable and then um, work vertically up that way. But that is, depending on what kind of project you're using for, is going to determine that. Um, so that's kind of the overall structure of that. Um, so this is, again, an eight row repeat and you will go ahead and cast on 10 or a multiple of 10 and we can go ahead and get started on the first row repeat. Row number one, which is going to be the wrong side of your work and all other wrong side worked rows, we are going to purl in each stitch. So rows one, three, five, and seven, we are all going to purl those. So go ahead and purl um, row number one, and then I will meet you for row number two. For rows two, four, and eight, we are going to knit in each stitch. And this is going to be the right side of our work where the pattern is uh, showing we are going to knit those stitches. Now, row number six is when we are going to introduce the cable and the cable needle. Um, so rows one through five is going to look like a stockinette, which if you don't know what a stockinette stitch looks like, it is your most common stitching, which is this right here, that you will see. So go ahead and work rows one through five up and then I will meet you for row number six. Again, the right side of our work, we are going to knit. The wrong side of our work, we are going to purl up until row number six. Once you get to row number six, you should be back on your right side of your work. So go ahead and do that and then I'll meet you for row number six. Before we begin row number six, you should have something that kind of looks like that. Um, again, a stockinette stitch. And for row number six, again, we are going to need our cable needle. We are going to do a stitch that's called a 10 stitch LC. LC starts for left cross, meaning our stitch is going to cross to the left or it's going to lean to the left. Um, and how we do that is for row number six, we are going to start off by slipping five stitches onto our cable needle purlwise. So go ahead and slip five stitches onto our cable needle. Three, four, and five. Now these stitches that are on the cable needle, you want to make it sure that they are in front of our work. Try not to twist these stitches. I know the very first one um, working on the edge is a little, it's a little difficult not to twist them, but try not to twist those if you can't. And then we are going to knit the next five stitches. So go ahead and knit the next five stitches. This can be a little finicky. I've always felt like um, cables, working with cables are finicky. So go ahead and knit the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. 
again your work should still be in the front now these five stitches we are going to knit these straight off of our cable needles so go ahead and knit try not to lose a stitch like i just did but knit the next five stitches off of your cable needles and this can be a little tight So that is a 10 stitch LC. Again, real quick, row number six, you will slip five stitches purlwise onto your cable needles. Three, four, and five. You wanna keep those in front and then you're going to knit the next five stitches that is on your left hand knitting needle. So go ahead and knit those stitches. One, And then we are going to knit the stitches that are on our cable needle straight off of the needle. So go ahead and knit those five stitches. And that is row number six. This is going to be a little bit tight because it is a cable and you're twisting your stitches, uh, kind of. Um, so cables are a little bit tighter than normal. Um, so row number seven, we are going to purl in each stitch. So go ahead and purl in each stitch. And for row number eight, again, we are going to knit in each stitch. So go ahead and knit those stitches. That is the taffy pull knit edge stitch. And I kind of want to throw something out there. Um, earlier I stated that you, the stitch is meant to be um, picked up or the stitches were meant to be picked up for an edging, but you don't necessarily have to do that depending on how you want your project to look. Um, you can do like a knit flat and have this as your trim work and then whatever depending on the project and how you want your project to look you can have this connected together so that you don't have to pick up your stitches um if that makes sense um so that was just kind of an idea to throw out there but if you guys did enjoy this tutorial and this video please don't forget to give me a like a share comment or subscribe and if you do have any questions comments or concerns you can feel free to email me which my email will be down in the description box and i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you guys next time